Trump also talked about his immigration plan. He repeated his pledge to crack down on those in the country illegally who have committed a crime. But he also hinted that he may be open to broader immigration reform. KCTV 5's Amy Anderson is live now with the reaction here at home. Amy. Well, Ellen, one local immigration attorney says she has been getting panicked calls from families ever since Trump announced his first travel ban. Tonight, she tells me last night's address from the president didn't do much to calm fears. There was a lot of buzz in the immigrant community um, that there might be some path for the 11 million people that are here without any options. But Jessica Piedra says that buzz didn't pan out, saying the president's call for merit-based immigration won't help people in Kansas City who are mostly here under family-based immigration or because someone in their family brought them here. That is not what... Um, my clients need and what the most of America uh, would like to see some kind of regularization for the folks that are already here. Um, that's not giving me a lot of hope that that is the immigration reform uh, that he's talking about. But what bothered her the most, she says, was the idea of the voice program. The disturbing thing is the focus on, on really demonizing immigrants and demonizing the immigrant community. VOICE stands for Victims of Immigration Crime Engagement. The president says he's ordered the Department of Homeland Security to create the office to serve American citizens who've been the victims of crimes committed by immigrants. Many say it's an attempt to show immigrants as criminals and is dangerous territory. And that attorney told me by far the biggest fear her clients have is being separated from their families, particularly what will happen to their children if they are detained. Reporting live tonight in Kansas City, Missouri, Amy Anderson, KCTV 5 News.